The political fight over evolution is still evolving. This week, two Republican congressmen are grabbing headlines for their comments on the subject. Both congressmen are on the Committee for Science, Space, and Technology. Both of them. The latest remark came from Congressman Todd Akin. You remember him. He's running for the Senate seat in Missouri. I've taken a look at both sides of the thing, and um, I, it seems to me that evolution takes a tremendous amount of faith. I don't see it as um, even a matter of science because I don't know if you can prove one or the other. All right, that was Todd Aiken. A tape also surfaced this week of Georgia Republican Paul Brown talking about evolution. All that stuff I was taught about evolution and embryology, Big Bang Theory, all that is lies straight from the pit of hell. And it's lies to try to keep me and all the folks who are taught that from understanding that they need a savior. With me now, Bill Nye, CEO of the Planetary Society, and of course, the science guy. Good to have you, Bill. Good to see you, Craig. Todd Aiken says believing in evolution requires faith. Paul Brown says it's a, it's a lie from the pit of hell, a lie straight from the pit of hell. What goes through your mind when you hear things like that? Well, first of all, uh, I, as a science educator, have failed. I have failed. No. Evolution was discovered. It's not something people made up. It was discovered. And uh, the evidence for it is astonishing. It's overwhelming. Uh, Charles Darwin, back in his day, took flowers. He took roses. Oh, they're props. And he I compared love it when you bring the, props. He compared the different varieties of flowers, and he determined, he came up with a very reasonable explanation of species. And he used the same techniques that flower breeders use today, little tweezers, magnifiers, and he studied the ova, the eggs and pollen of flowers. I mention this only as an example. What, does, what do these guys do, I ask myself, when they take their children to a conventional natural history museum yeah. and their fossil dinosaur bones? But one of the problems that both of these guys brought up was the age of the Earth. And I say that as a scientific question. Yeah. What is the age of the Earth? And near as I can tell, they each assert, and this is my perception of their words, they each assert that the Earth is six, 10,000 years old, something like that. But I'm sure that they both, uh, if they don't have smoke detectors in their house, they probably have been in hotel rooms that have smoke detectors. And these rely generally on a tiny piece of americium. Americium is one uh, proton more than plutonium. You make americium in a nuclear reactor. And you're able to make americium because you understand how neutrons and protons interact. You understand nuclear physics. This, I, and I, I, I and by mean, understanding it, you infer that the Earth is four and a half billion years old. That's science. Those are facts. You can't just close your eyes and, and make them not true. But here's the thing. You know, we're talking about this. This is nothing new. You know, there, there was uh, Rick Perry and Michelle Bachman. I think we have clips from both of them. These are Republicans who both ran for president talking about evolution. Take a listen. It's a theory that uh, is out there. It's got some gaps in it, but uh, in Texas, we teach both uh, creationism and evolution in our public schools. Ask him why he doesn't believe figure, in science. Because I figure you're smart enough to figure out which one is right. In questioning the idea of evolution, there is a controversy among scientists about whether evolution is a fact or not. Is that true? I mean, is no, there, there's is no there a controversy. controversy? Okay, well, you know, I'm not a scientist, so I want to well, make... No, but there's no controversy among scientists. Uh, there's controversy among... So what do you among... think the motivation is here, Well, this is, a, this is always a troubling thing. Uh, I got to tell you that we, our ancestors have made these discoveries. This is the best idea humans have ever had, this, this process of science, this way that we understand the world around us and our place in it. And to set aside those discoveries arbitrarily is, betrays really the best in us. It betrays the best use of our, of our brains, wherever you might assert those came from. So this is very troubling. Furthermore, what, is the, what are the three worship words this fall? Jobs, 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 right? So if you want jobs in the United States, 
you have to have technological innovation. That's what makes the that's what sets the United States apart. We are no longer the world's best or most economical manufacturer of certain goods. Right. We are uh, we are the technological leaders. If you want, for example, a smartphone, yeah. you look to inventors who come from the United States, and Bill, these people are understand science. Bill, let me put up. Uh, this is what Governor Romney has said about evolution. This is in 2007, and uh, this is according to the New York Times, saying in part, "quote I believe that God designed the universe and created the universe." And I believe evolution is most likely the process he used to create the human body. There's a view there that tries to bridge science and religion. That's a view that's shared by a lot of folks. I know that you have said in the past that you are, you are an Obama guy. You're voting for the president. What do you think of Governor Romney's view there? Is that fairly enlightened? Well, well it's, it's okay. As I say, I'm not going <laughs> to <okay>. address, <laughs> address anybody's religion. I mean, sure. this is not what I'm talking about. We, what we do in science and in, in critical thinking you have a claim, an assertion. In this case, the Earth is 6,000 years old, 10,000 years old. I can show any reasonable person that that's not right. That's wrong. That is a wrong claim. All right. the, we, and it's off by a factor of a million. We are going and to. Furthermore, evolution is a fact. We can prove evolution to you. We and if you want to, to deny that stuff, you're setting aside what makes humans so good. We are going to anyway, leave it right there. And Bill you. Nye, I say this, uh, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, this has been perhaps the most educational four minutes in cable news <laughs> this week. I appreciate well, that. And thank while you so you're voting, much. everybody, take into account climate change. I, while you're voting. That's a separate right, segment. A that's a separate segment. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Do appreciate <laughs> you. you as always. Bill Nye, the science guy. Man.